With the political climate so high right now, what can both sides do to turn it down and focus on the campaign issues themselves? Well, thanks for asking that, Kylie, because I think that's so important. At the end of the day, we're all Americans. We're all on the same team. Uh, you know, uh, one lesson I learned in Afghanistan is in a foxhole is no Republicans or Democrats, we're all Americans. So uh, we may disagree on things, but at the end of the day, we want what's best for this country. So I hope we can get back to talking about the issues and most importantly, the issues that are going to make life better for everyday hardworking Montanans, because they're the ones suffering most right now as a result of these policies. So let's talk about the policies. Let's talk about how we're going to fix this economy, fix this nation and get our country back on track. Perfect. Um, what does former President Donald Trump's endorsement mean to the Sheehy campaign? Of course, it's an honor to have uh, President Trump's endorsement. Uh, you know, he, he unleashed the greatest economy in recent memory. Uh, we had the securest border. We didn't have any new foreign wars going on. Uh, President Trump brought America back to its roots, and we had a tremendous four years under his leadership. Um, of course, the last three and a half years, we've seen a very rapid and stark departure from those policies, which unfortunately my opponent has, has supported those policies every single step of the way. So having him come out here to Montana shows that he understands the importance of winning the Montana Senate race. And of course, if we win the Montana Senate race, delivering a Republican Senate, so that when he wins this fall, he's got the ability to pass legislation, appoint judges, uh, and get secretaries in place in his cabinet who are going to put America first. Perfect. Um, what kind of things can we expect out of the rally? I know you probably can't divulge in all the details, but what can um, people who are going to expect? Well, I think at this point, uh, you know, most people know what to expect out of a Trump rally. Um, you know, you know, he's going to get up there and commit. Uh, he's certainly going to support uh, our campaign and other great candidates we have on, um, on the ballot this fall. But most importantly, it's going to be a chance for a lot of people to come together uh, who love this country, who have a positive, optimistic vision for America. As I've said repeatedly, I'm an optimist. You know, you can't start a business in your barn like I did. You can't jump out of a plane at night uh, with a parachute on like I did if you're not an optimist. We have a lot of problems as a country. Uh, we really do. But I also believe they're all solvable. And we get a new generation of leaders in office. I think we can solve a lot of these problems. And that's what we're going to talk about here tomorrow uh, at our rally in, in Bozeman. And it's going to be really exciting. Have, you know, potentially 10, 20,000 supporters there uh, all sharing a similar vision. Sorry, that was on mute. Um, what's it like to welcome Trump back to Montana? Uh, well, it's the first time here for our campaign. So, uh, you know, I haven't personally welcomed him as part of my campaign before, but uh, obviously it means a lot for, for a state like us, you know, for all, a lot of us plain states out here, uh, us mountain states, sometimes the coast call us flyover country and they don't really care too much about us politically. So to have uh, the former president and future president uh, take the time out of his busy schedule to come here to our state's a great honor. Uh, we look forward to welcoming. And then obviously the um, assassination attempt on Donald Trump is still kind of a hot topic right now. Are there any concerns with security outside of the Brick Breeding Fieldhouse um, when it comes to this rally? Well, I can tell you for certain they are taking security this round very, very seriously. Um, you know, when I was a former, uh, when I was a SEAL in the Navy, uh, we would oftentimes work alongside Secret Service whenever the president would travel to high risk locations. So I was involved in some of those operations before. Actually, some of my close friends are serving on the detail now. So actually, uh, couple will be over at my house for dinner tonight. Um, and they are, uh, you know, they're taking this very seriously. And, and one important thing to remember about how the Secret Service has to manage a lot of protectees, not just the President of the United States, but also the families, the Vice President, a lot of diplomatic protectees, uh, and of course, former presidents and their families as well. Uh, and they usually have to cooperate closely with local law enforcement to do that. And of course, what we saw in Butler was a tremendous failure in the chain of command, tremendous failure uh, of tactics and procedures uh, around what's supposed to be done. And uh, what we're seeing this round is, is they're not missing a beat this time. Okay. And then going into tomorrow, what's your goal with being on the campaign trail with former President Donald Trump? And then what's your goal with rallying in Bozeman? Well, of course, having the Trump uh, team here and having the former president himself here, again, it's going to be an opportunity for here, we're, you know, less than 90 days from the election to really focus people on the fact that this is a pivotal election in the history of our country. Uh, you know, we're so used to hearing that we get beat over the head with it every time. This is the most important election. This is the most important election. But if you look at the fall of 2024, I mean, we really are at a crossroads as a nation. We've got once in a generation inflation. We've got an absolutely terrible border crisis. We have global conflicts all around the world happening. 
this isn't by accident. These are a result of very dangerous policies that have been put in place by this administration, the Biden-Harris policies, supported every step of the way by John Tester, that have led us to this very troubling spot. So I think this is going to be a chance for everyone to focus and realize that uh, the Montana Senate race is very important for everyday hardworking Montanans. It's also very important for the future of our country. So what I hope is it'll be a chance to really crystallize that vision and communicate to Montanans that they got to show up and vote this fall. You know, only about half of, of, of Americans vote each election. And as someone who fought for, for that right, for all of us to vote, you know, I sure as hell wish most people would show up and make sure their voice is heard because regardless of who they're going to vote for, uh, exercise that right. A lot of people have died in the field of battle so that we can all select our leaders. Uh, it's an important time for this country. So I think this would be a really crystallizing event for a lot of people to recognize what's at stake this fall. Perfect. That's all I got for you. Anything else you want to mention? Yeah, I would just say, you know, we're focused on common sense policies that are going to bring back prosperity for everyday hardworking Montanans. You know, whether it's $4 gasoline, 16% inflation, or unaffordable housing, uh, Montanans are having a lot of challenges right now. We were just at Rocky Boy, uh, uh, the, the Rocky Boy powwow last weekend. You know, they're talking to me about how fentanyl is just destroying the reservations there, and I'm hearing that across the state. So uh, Montanans of all walks of life are pretty frustrated right now, uh, and it's important we bring common sense policies back. Uh, and that's what we're trying to do. So we're excited about tomorrow and it'll help us communicate that to all Montanans.